is sick today. This is actually the first day he's woken up without a fever since Tuesday, but he's still acting kind of sick. And I didn't want to take him out just in case he is still contagious. So we stayed home today. We've been home for the last few days, which is odd for us. We usually pass every single day. Normally we would go to a play group this morning, but we weren't able to go. So things have been a little bit crazy. I am definitely not a homebody. I would much prefer to get out of the house every single day. Anyway, we needed to figure out some activities to do this morning. So I set up a little roadway for them to drive their cars on. And I also set up the nugget for them to play with. And then of course we just watch TV, which you know, that's what you do when you're sick. <laughs> oh, you want me to put the camera right there? Yeah. Can I? But then I can't get up into your beautiful face like this. Did your car win? Yeah, that one. Whoa, whoa. When I'm with you, when I'm with you, we get and the triplets are napping. Well, Thea doesn't nap anymore, but she still stays in her bed for uh, about an hour and a half each day. You can probably hear her in the background. I really tried to film this while the kids were awake, but um, I even took some video and we're gonna try and think of... You can't hear me at all. So here I am without the kids. As I'm sure you can imagine, having sick triplet toddlers can be quite challenging. Something that's super hard about it is that um, one of them usually gets it first. Usually it's actually Mads that gets sick first. It's a little strange that it's Jens this time. Anyway, usually Mads gets sick first and he's sick for like two or three days and then Jens usually gets it after that and then Thea gets it after that. And so oftentimes we're dealing with the sickness for seven to 10 days. It just takes a really long time to work its way through all the kids and we have to stay home for that whole time which is definitely challenging because we like to leave the house and we like to go out. Luckily this winter has been better than last winter in that even when the kids are sick they're sleeping much better. Last winter when they would get sick they would just keep waking up all night and it was really challenging because then of course we'd have to get up with them in the middle of the night and they have been excellent sleepers since they were about eight months old, except for when they would get sick. So this year, the, it, the sickness still does interrupt their sleep a little bit, but it's not nearly as much as last year. There were a few times last year when Jets would be sick and he would just cry in his sleep 
And, you know, I would go in there and I'd put his, my hand on his back and he would stop and, and I'd, you know, I'd take my hand off and he would start crying again. And he would do that for like two or three hours. And it was just exhausting. Anyway, so this winter has been a lot better in terms of sickness and I don't, I feel like we haven't actually gotten sick as much this winter, which is great. Um, I did start the kids on a probiotic, so I think that that helps. Um, and I think they're just older and so their immune systems are getting more mature and they're starting to be able to fight off the germs and the sickness. Ultimately, the thing that I dread the most about sickness is me getting sick. It's really hard to be the stay-at-home mom and take care of all your kids' needs when you just feel like rotten garbage. The kids were really getting into like the car roadway that I had made out of tape for them right before they went to bed, so they might just want to play with that when they wake up when Annika comes home from school. I'm running along the road. Ow. <laughs> I'm running along the road. <laughs> I'm running along the road. Ow. I'm running along the road. <laughs> I'm editing. Andrew's playing a game. Mm -hmm. And all the kids are in our room watching TV. Annika took them all in there by herself. Voluntarily. Yep. It's just like, see you guys later, we're gonna go watch TV. You guys do what you want. <laughs> she turned on the TV. The closest that she could get to babysitting right now. Got our very own in home. And I mean, they're locked in there. Yeah. Because the door won't open from right. that side unless it goes up. But right. Um, but they're fine. They're happy. This is what we were saying. We've got this child lock on the outside, so they can't open it. Hey. <laughs> okay. You want me to leave you alone? Yes. Yeah. It's a movie theater. Oh, movie theater. Okay. Yes.